Saturday night, November the 26th from the Cosmopolitan Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. It's one of the most decorated amateurs in history. Vasil Lomachenko defending his WBO super featherweight crown against hard-hitting Nicholas Walters on HBO. Vasily Lomachenko! Vasil Lomachenko is poetic beauty, and he can punch. What do they say is the most dangerous punch in boxing? The one you don't see. You don't see his stuff because he's here, and then he's over here, and then he's around here. I've literally seen him go completely around his opponent to where the guy turns around and gets hit. I mean, he's, he's just unbelievable, and that all comes from what? That tremendously uh, decorated amateur career. Um, you don't have 300 fights and, 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 and you know, win gold medals and, and do all that without knowing how to face every kind of style. Nicholas, the Axeman Walters. I haven't seen enough of Nicholas Walters. I, I, I thought he was a guy that was emerging as a superstar with the way he took apart Nonito Donaire. And then he started having issues with weight and inactivity. In his last fight, they called it a draw. He was completely robbed. He won the fight easy, but it was a horrible decision. But I haven't seen the improvement. And what I question when a guy starts putting on all that weight, and can't make weight, and loses titles on the scale and things like that, I question his discipline. What Walters can do is punch. He has a very powerful guy. He's very long and rangy. And so those are the things that he's going to need to try to do to keep, to keep Lomachenko on the outside and punch, or when he gets on the inside, really rough up Lomachenko and not let him use that uh, escapology that, that he's so good at. What Lomachenko needs to do to win this fight is, is box, box, box. And that's what he does. He is a brilliant tactician inside the squared circle. I don't know if they'll, they'll show the weights, but I'll, I'll bet you that Walters weighs 20 more pounds than him. So that's, that's not going to be uh, something to, to be taken for granted, especially when that guy that weighs 20 more pounds can also crack, can also punch. So what he needs to be is disciplined, focused, and use all the tremendous experience that he, that he had as an amateur and that we've seen as a pro and the improvement. What Nicholas Walters needs to do to win this fight is to kind of make it ugly. He just needs to hit him with something that he's never felt and get Lomachenko off of his, you know, his game plan and, and get him thinking about something more than uh, his, his movement and his feet and where he's going to be placing his punches. And that, and that, again, goes with just make him feel uneasy and uncomfortable. And that starts with letting your hands go. You know, you can't think when you fight, uh, uh, you know, a, a chess master. The better fighter is Lomachenko. The better puncher is Nicholas Walters. So all things being considered, you like the boxer, the beauty, or do you like the puncher, the beast? Beauty of Lomachenko and the beast of Nicholas Walters. I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm picking Vasil Lomachenko to win the fight. I don't know if he has the punching power given his style and the way he's going to need to fight to get Walters out of there. I mean, we haven't seen any susceptibility in Walters' chin. Remember, he's unbeaten. He's so big. He's so damn big that I think it's going to be really hard for Lomachenko to hurt him and to keep him hurt. So Lomachenko is a smart fighter. You, would, you wouldn't do, have all the success that he's had as an amateur and now as a pro, especially as a, as a guy with only seven or eight fights, I think that uh, he'll win a unanimous decision.